Back live from Guatemala City. We're about to witness the last match of the tournament, Ultimo Deal. Day eight, match five today. Gary Mazarov, Gustavo Farrell. Team Bolivia, Team Mexico, girls 21 and under doubles. Ramon De Leon, our head ref, take it away, Gustavo. Gary, long week, eighth and final day of this uh, very well run event, tournament, in this fantastic venue we have here of Guatemala Domo Deportivo. We congratulate again the, the Guatemalan Federation, the administration here, they did a fantastic job. The hotel selection, everything, very good. Uh, just, just a well-run event all the way around. As well, the IRF, Ovaldo Maggi, his, the team behind him. And of course, up in Colorado, uh, Luke St. Ange, who I'm sure is going to be watching this last match. And we're gonna start here, and I'll give you a little bit of information on the players as we get going, but for now, I'll let Gary take it away. Thank you, Gustavo, mi amigo. Mexico coached by Fernando. The padre of Mafer Gutierrez. He is from, they are from Guadalajara, that beautiful city. Team Bolivia, coached by our friend, Senor Supermercados, <laughs> Felipe, 0-0. Zero, zero. That's the five, one by two, 11 points. Rally scoring. So Mexico on the board is a serve and a point. Gustavo, I don't know who the uh, favor, favorite is here, but uh, there was half out, side out called, actually first serve, avoidable there, point Bolivia. She held up on the swing, safety hold up, point granted, side out, 1-1. One, one. Serving is Natalia Mita, probably less known of the two players, her partner, Angelica Barrios. Half out point, Mexico. One, two. Short serve, Natalia. And uh, Angelica, actually first time they play together, so in this event, they played all week long. Three one, Gary. Great start for Team Mexico. Guadalajara and uh, San Luis Potosí. Safety hold up. Not a good serve. Point granted. That's a avoidable hinder called. Thank you, number one, on Helica for not swinging. Number two, good call by the ref. A bloqueo, a block. Ball down, so Bolivia ties it up at three. 4-2. Four 4-2, two. Four two, I apologize. It was Valeria that hit that. Thank you. Valeria is 20 years of age. She's been playing for 10 years, five-year World Juniors. Wow. Already, so very seasoned. Safety hold up again. Point awarded Side again, out. as you said, not a good serve. Probably better, well, it'd be better served to hit the normal Z serve rather than the jam in the middle. Two out of the three points earned by Bolivia is via avoidable hinder. Three five. Angelica, the most seasoned players of all the, the gals out there. Yeah, she wants another junior year, does she not? <laughs> she, wants, she does. She wants us to raise uh, 
the age to 23 and under. Well, Kaylika is 22 years of age. She's been playing 13 years of racquetball, eight, year, eight years of World Juniors recently, and we're talking about just today, crowned the 21 singles gold medal winner, defeating Maffer. Wow, and Giannis. how'd she do it mixed? I don't have that stat. Should and be a we're dead ball that. that should that be a, yeah, a dead ball was. hitter. So, uh, Six four. Valeria's from San Luis Potosi, the gal that just served. Replaying. Valeria talking to her prior to the match that her best uh, uh, gold has was the Pan Ams in 2017 in Costa Rica. Doubles win for her. Smooth on the left side, Gustavo Barrios. So, Team Mexico has controlled the first two parts of this game, and uh, Bolivia inching back. Short serve. Natalia born in Sucre, but she lives in Santa Cruz, where she... Speaking of Sucre, welcome to our... Viewers, Lucha from Sucre. Falls down. Oh, Wasn't a good serve. That was a good serve. Safety hold up, let's see the call. Punto, punto. And Ohalo, Mafero on the left side. And basically, Gustavo, for our viewing audience, you make a mistake, you suffer a penalty. In this case, avoidable hinder. It's not batting practice out there. They're going to appeal that. Gary, you want to explain what uh, Ramon is doing here? What was the call? The call was an avoidable. Against? Against Bolivia. And uh, Bolivia is appealing that it should only be a hinder. Okay. So they Once again, you make a bad shot, you can overcome that if the ref doesn't call an avoidable. You can block. You can prevent a decent shot, getting them in position. That's not part of the integrity of the game. The integrity of the game is you hit the ball and you give access to the ball to your opponent. In this case, they blocked them. Thank you very much for holding up, Team Mexico. So we go to the monitor, and Ramon, our head ref, is reviewing the monitor. We'll see what the result is. Is he upholding his call or reversing it? He's upholding his call, correct? We think yes, which means Bolivia lost one of their two appeals. Point awarded. Was that an encroachment? Sorry, folks. We're uh, we're on the by the left wall, and Ramon is over there behind the players. Bottom line, we believe it's eight serving five. Point for Bolivia. Olivia Gustavo earns a point with the handout. Mexico retains the serve, second server. Whiff, good coverage. 
Mexico. Ball flat by Barrios. That shows you the experience of Barrios. Recovering for her teammate and then re-killing the ball here, which would have been a point for Mexico. No coincidence, she's the Pan Am champion for 2022. That is Pan Am Racquetball Championship in 2022, held back in April. So that's a dead ball hander replay. First serve, indirect shot, no harm done. Time out on the floor. When we return, we believe the score is 8-8. Eight, eight. Who passes the flag to William Bell from Birmingham. Give a big round of applause. He'll give it up. City at the Domo Deportivo de Racquetball. 8 8 game one, girls 21 doubles. Bolivia and Mexico. See if she, see if Ramon calls it down. I think he called that ball down, Gustavo. Point. Repeat. Repeat. Okay. Thank you. I think he was debating whether to call avoidable or not, but I think it was the right call. First serve. 8 8 still. Nice, Mafer Gutierrez, point. Mexico, 9-8, hand out. Ball up. Barrios. Players converge, I think he called it dead. First serve, replay. All of these players love the sport, but they realize they have to have a career or another job for sure as well. Safety hold up. Looks like he called it dead ball hinder again. No, point. Point Bolivia, I think, 9-9. Nine, nine. Angelica is studying medicine. University in Santa Cruz. Back up top. That's impressive. We've been talking about that all week long about few players have the willingness to take the ball early and off the fly, she being one of them, and she puts it away right corner. So we have game point number one for Bolivia, who's serving. Oh, overtime, sobre tiempo. Over time. Tiempos extra. First to win by two, so now we go to 12. Gutierrez. Oh my. Exclamo. Grito. 11-10 Bolivia, 10-11 serving. Mexico skips him game point. 
You're watching the IRF broadcast here from Guatemala City. Gary with Gustavo and Alexis. We'll break and be back in two minutes. Gustavo Farrell, Alexis Iwasa. Folks, breaking news from Guatemala City. We will have a sixth broadcast coming up after this match. Mixed doubles between Team Argentina and Team Bolivia. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, game two, Bolivia serving. The girls 21 doubles, they won the first game. 12-10, see the call from Ramon, repeat, or avoidable? Point. Yeah, the body language from Mexico, I would imagine it's a point. 1-0. Fascinating, you mentioned uh, Barrio studying medicine, the two young ladies from Cochabamba in the previous match, both studying medicine. Mafer, left side. Skipped it in. The tide has shifted to Bolivia. The big mo, momentum. Natalia is studying, estudiando aviación. Universidad de Santa Cruz. She looked like she cleared there. But was given the point. Uh, I, I have to agree with you. That can be appealed, right? It can be, and they have two available. So that's a coaching. But look, their coach is turning elsewhere. He wasn't even tuned into that. 3-0. Want to welcome Alan Chacon to our feed here. Hola, Senor Chacone. Hello, Dad, he said. 3-0, 3-1. 1-3. 1-3. 1-3. So Mafer serving left side. Point. Lucky break. Convergence in the middle. Avoidable call, point. It's good serve. It's a great shot there, setting her up now. That's just, that's the chess game. Preparing for the next move, which he got. Checkmate, if you will. Dos cuatro. Bolivia serving, second game. They won the first 12-10. Ball 
Ball down, handcuffed young lady on the right side for Mexico. Also known as Leria Hernandez, 6-2. Notice how up front, Barrios took that ball early. Keep the pressure on. Swing and a miss. Point Mexico. Half out. Seis tres. Sirve Barrios. Barrios has all the tools in her toolbox, Gustavo. I mean, she knows when to attack, when to let up. She can drop the ball. She can put the ball away from anywhere on the court. It's very impressive. Timeout called, Team Mexico. They're one timeout for this game two. A smart timeout, stop that momentum if possible. One minute, we'll stay on. Gary, uh, we were thinking this was it, but as you said, we have one more mixed doubles, a new event for the juniors. Started in the Pan Ams this year in, in, in Temuco, I believe. No, in uh, Santa Cruz, right? Santa Pan Cruz right. and in, uh, in Abril, Pasado. The world champion mixed doubles, having won not only the Pan American Championship, but the uh, world championship. Pro Rodrigo Montoya and Samantha Salas. Very impressive. Yes. Team, obviously they're not here. They're a little too old to play in the junior. Well, unless we change the rule to 42. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think maybe 36. Oh, okay. Re resume play, folks. Olivia serving, 7-3, game two. Keeping the pressure on Mexico here. Wrap around. That was a nice shot by Mafer. Moving deep and moving left and hitting a reverse. Very nice. Once again, if you just tuned in, it's rally scoring. So not only does Mexico earn the serve, but they get a point. Smooth. Half out. I thank Gearbox for being the official ball and racket of the International Racquetball Federation. Thank you for your support. Speaking of support, Mike Martinez back in California supporting Barrios. Certainly needs to be must be pleased with this performance. Oh yeah. yeah, very well. Playing very well. Great sportswoman. That's called a wide angle pass winner. Match, uh, excuse me, game point number one here in game two. Olivia won game one, 12-10 in overtime. Get by Mafia. Oh, wow, handcuffs. Mita over there, deep right corner. So don't count Mexico out yet. Half started. out. Segunda raqueta, 10 A great serve. Punto. Para set, 2-0 van Bolivia ganándole a México. 
Vamos a quedarnos acá, Gary, a hablar un poquito del evento, practicar tu español. Claro que sí, gracias por tu uh, energía, apoyo para mí. Gracias por Alexis, the lady in red, la mujer en roja, ¿no? En rojo. Rojo. It's just an incredible event here, Gustavo. Un evento increíble. Y vamos a pasar después este partido, otro partido, dobles mixtos. El último. Ese sí que va a ser el último. Si, si no serán más... Si no nos dan más. Más sorpresas. Sí. No, no creo. que Creo no. que ese ya es y va a ser bueno. Va a ah, ser sí, sí. mixto, dobles, 21 años, Argentina, Bolivia, ¿no? Sí. Felicidades a todo. El presidente de Federación Boliviana uh, Guatemalteco, eh, el doctor Estuardo Ware, Where, where? Donde, señor donde. Y Lux Arange en Colorado Springs, en Colorado, Estados Unidos. Osvaldo Maggi acá, el uh, presidente de IRF. Vamos a continuar. Tercer set, 0-0. Cero, cero. Wow. Angélica quiere terminar este partido rápido. 1-0, entra a servir, sigue sirviendo Bolivia. Varios. Point Mexico. Great uh, court coverage by the Bolivian duo. However, uh, Mexico earned that point. Not enough to get it to the front wall. Point Bolivia, Barrios. Segunda raqueta sirviendo, 2-1. That's called a visual hinder, and thank you for holding up. She was lucky to get out of the way, <coughs> that being Maffer. Repite. Uh, one of the few unforced errors by Barrios. She had the right idea, though, that reverse pinch on the fly. Maffet is studying physical therapy, estudiando terapia física. Su mamá la está viendo, Martina, desde Guadalajara. Papá está acá, el entrenador, Fernando. Punto Bolivia, segundo, segunda raqueta, 2-3. Skipped it in. Gustavo, we want to thank all of our viewers. Many, many viewers around the world for tuning in over these past eight days. Uh, and we hope they continue to support the broadcast from the IRF. Next one will be the first part of April. 
eh, Semana uh, Pascuas sí. en, uh, en Temuco, en Chile. Esperando vernos todos allá. Van a haber menos jugadores, pero de todas formas es un gran evento. Y ese Panamericano es el que, es el que sirve para calificar a los jugadores de los Juegos Panamericanos que van a ser en Santiago, Chile, en noviembre. 4-4. Mafer, backhand, near side pinch winner. Mexico with the lead. Will they force a game four? That's the question. Le pegó a la boliviana, pero cantó avoidable de León. Good get. Another good get. And pass winner. Mexico. Three point lead. Time out on the floor. We'll stay here. When we resume action, it'll be 7-4 or, yeah, 7-4 Mexico in the lead here. They lost the first two, 10-12 and 5-11. So Gustavo, let's share some tidbits, anecdotes, if you will, with our viewing audience about our trip here to Guatemala. This is the second uh, junior championships they've held in succession. They had it last year along with the world, Worlds. And this is your first opportunity for a visit here in Guatemala. So a few uh, notable points you want to share with the audience. I always imagine Guatemala, like one does, different locations around the world to be a certain way. Very different, uh, very impressed with the people here how service-oriented they are, how polite they are, Spanish-speaking culture, uh, very down-to-earth, hard-working, great restaurants. And para servirle, we're here to serve you from the heart. Speaking from the heart, Look at Mafer with the fist pump. Mexico eight, Bolivia four in game three. We want to stay thank in. You, thank you for your information. I knew it was a big city. I didn't know uh, exactly how big it was. We know that there's a lot of traffic, a lot of traffic jams because they have real no not real good public transport systems. They may have buses, but that doesn't stop the, the amount of traffic we have in this city. Avoidable call. Yeah. Bloqueo, 6-8. Folks, we hope you appreciate the professionalism of our officials. They've trained for years, They're very diligent. They understand the rules. They're paid for their services. Point Mexico. Yes. That ball was down, so it's uh, seven nine, game three. Eight, nine. I really like Barrios keeping her position, 
Keeping the ball moving, not letting everything go to the back wall. She's the only one that I've seen cutting the ball off yeah. of the four players. So she can be a modelo for you folks. She's certainly successful. So Team Mexico tried a 41-foot shot on a 40-foot court there. Consequently, point for her. Point or did he call Mexico. it good? No. You called that good? No, no, no. The oh, okay. shot was taken by Bolivia. And Bolivia doesn't want to go to the fourth game. I got you. 9-10 now. Uh, so that was game point number one. This is two. Up top. Whoa! Mexico, Mexico. 11-9 in game three over Team Bolivia. When we return in two minutes. Wow. It will be two games to one, Bolivia in favor. Live in Guatemala City, Gary Mazarov, Gustavo Farrell, Alexis Iwasa. You're watching doubles on the world stage. Team Bolivia serving. They lead two games to one. It's the best of five. First to three wins. Rally scoring, win by two. Good start, Gustavo. I didn't like that serve. I thought she was going to get called an avoidable against her. Again, coming through the center of the court. There it is again. Fortunately, she got enough angle to avoid an avoidable, but Hard uh, to tell you're right. From here. Yeah. Mexico comes in. Gutierrez served that ball. Called it down. Or replay. Yeah, call, called it dead. Replay. First serve. 2 1 1. One, two. Valeria. Like all the other players, is also in, at the university. She is studying law. Law? Yes. Derecho. Empate, dos iguales. Mexico ties it up. Her coach, Pedro Lara. Senior picking. San Luis Potosí. 
Uf. Skip. Should be avoidable, no? She, she moved into the ball in flight. So from our perspective, it should be an avoidable. He called it dead ball hinder. Correct. She shouldn't be able to open the door either. Do it from the court. Looks like there's an appeal now. There's time out on the floor for a review of the monitor. Uh, Pantaya. Ramon assisted by Luis Perez from Guatemala. I want to welcome Dean Shear and John Halko to the booth. Our partner in crime over here, Alexis, is full of energy. Speaking of energy, we have another match, Alexis. She's excited. Pulgares Arriba, thumbs up, huh? So they were granted the point. Point scored, no appeal used. It's a new system, Gustavo, that we implemented back in, uh, at the World Games in July in Alabama. That would be the VAR, video assist review, which we see used in soccer and being used currently in the, obviously the FIFA World Cup. Back up top. Skip ball, unforced error, tied at four. What I didn't know that is in soccer that there, the referee decides whether he wants to use the video assist review, unlike here where you can appeal yeah. to use it. Fascinating. If you have the appeals, of course. Side wall, front wall, splat winner with the backhand. Mafer left side. So Gustavo, Mexico, five, Bolivia, four. Game number four. Good hands. Bolivia scores that point. Five, five, will we go five? That's the operative question here. We're gonna go one by one to 10 is what it appears to be here. And then maybe overtime. Great serve. Unreturnable ball from the young lady from Guadalajara. Say cinco. You see the poach there by Angelica. We've discussed this as a concept over the week. Doubles can be 50-50, 90-10, 70-30. Looks like Angelica wants to make it 70-30 here. She did step in and take that shot. Much to the surprise of Team Mexico. And quite frankly, my friend, when you're that good, you can do it. You have license. Bolivia forges ahead, 7-6. Will that be an avoidable? Should be. Yeah, cambio interno, half out. Ran into the ball. You can't do that, folks. It's in the rule book. Cross court. No appeal. Now she should know better than to serve that again and again. I think they've had three or four avoidables called there already. Much to the chagrin of Team Mexico. Skip ball, Bolivia eight, Mexico seven. 
Back and forth, back and forth. Who will close game four out? Back up top, set up, Barrios. Dead ball hinder called by De Leon. First serve. Dynamics here, Gustavo, the nuances of the game, incredible. Wrap around. Safety hold up, let's see the call. Looks like body language speaks, point Bolivia. Nine serving seven, two points from the gold medal, Bolivia. Timeout Mexico. Stay tuned to the IRF network, folks. We will break for a minute. Back live, I want to welcome to the booth <laughs> Michelle Gagnon, president of Can Canadian Racquetball, head coach here, assistant coach Reno. So, 9 7 Bolivia, two points from gold medal. Barrios. Oh. A whiff of swing and miss. Mita whiffed that ball. Maybe she lost, <coughs> excuse me, lost it off the glass. Wrap around. Wide angle. With the backhand, crack winner. Textbook. <coughs> That's where you want it to hit. Bolivia, returning serve. They can win the title with the earning of this point here. And guess what, folks? They do. Barrios and Mita, gold medalists over Team Mexico. Girls, 21 doubles. Three games to one. Last one was 11 to eight. Wow. Speaking of wow, breaking news, we have another match, folks. Argentina, Bolivia, mixed doubles. So we'll wrap this up and then we'll have about a 10 minute break, Gustavo. Fantastic. Let's uh, talk about that match. I have to say Angelica really demonstrated what she is capable of doing the player that she is stepping in and like you said we we're talking about 50 50 and double 60 40 when she had to she moved it up to 70 30 80 20 she was definitely taking charge especially poaching on the right side i think every shot taking the shots on the fly all of those points that she took on the fly she probably missed one of seven or eight yeah maybe yeah that, I agree. that made the difference. Uh, and right. af after that, you know, being said, uh, I think they were very evenly matched. But that was the difference in points. Sure, sure. And uh, arguably, she's the best player on the floor of the four. Not arguably, she's the eldest of the four. In fact, uh, as she told you earlier in the week, she'd like us to change the rules on mixed uh, on. Uh, for the juniors and move it to 23 so she can qualify for next year. <laughs> she's afraid of what she's going to find now in the uh, <laughs> above 21. 
competition of the women's as she starts playing more on the pro tour. Yeah, that's true. But she's proven herself in the past. Case in point, she won the Pan Am Championships with the adults, mostly adults, last April in Santa Cruz de la Sierra, her hometown at the public complejo. So, uh, Alexis, thank you. Gustavo, thank you. Mazarov, thank you. Dean Shear, thank you. Pablo, thank you. And extra innings, we got another match, folks, coming up in about 10 minutes. <laughs> 